Hello again, my dear students. Welcome for another video lesson in mathematics for the third quarter. In this video, you will learn how to formulate or make a rule in writing the nth term in a sequence. But before that, let us find out the meaning of the following term. Sequence, pattern, term, and nth rule. A sequence is just a set or a series of numbers that follow a certain part, pattern or order. It can be increasing or decreasing order. A pattern is the order or the arrangement of the numbers in the sequence. The word term refers to each number found in the sequence. And when we talk about the nth rule, this is actually the formula that you're going to use in order to find the next number in the sequence. I have here a set of numbers. So we have 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25. So this is a sequence because it is made up of more than one number and it follows a pattern. So what is a pattern here? So if you notice, the first term and the second term, okay, uh, is increasing by 5 no? from the first to the second so it increased by 5 from the second to the third term is increasing by 5 again and then from third to the fourth one it is increasing by 5 and the fourth to the fifth it is again increasing by 5 so our pattern here is an increase of 5 the number 5 is our first term the number 10 is the second term 15 is the third 20 is the fourth, and 25 is the fifth term. So again, the word term means the number in the sequence. Okay, I have here a simple problem. Given the sequence below, we're going to find the missing term. Okay, so we have here the same series of numbers, 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25. And we're going to find the 11th term and the 24th term. Okay, it seems to be a hard problem to solve, no? But I will teach you how to do it. And at the end of the lesson, I'm sure you will do it very easily and without a sweat. Okay, just remember the steps in solving or finding the missing term. Okay, first, we have to plot the terms and their respective values, okay, using a table. Okay, number two, you're going to look for the pattern. Number three, make a rule based on the pattern. And then you check if the rule is correct and if it is applicable to each of the term in your sequence. And lastly, if the rule is correct, you're going to solve for the missing term. Okay, let's do it step by step. So first, we're going to plot the terms and their values using a table. Okay, so I have here the table. So, the upper column would be the term, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and then we have the 11th and the 24th term. Okay, so again, the upper um, row, I mean, would be for the term, and then the lower row will be for the equivalent value so our first term is 5 so we'll write 5 then the second term is 10 the third is 15 the fourth is 20 and the fifth is 25 so the 11th term is a known as well as the 24th term okay then let's go to step to look for the pattern so unsa may pattern atong makita so like i said a while ago from the first to the second term there is an increase of 5 same with the second and the third. So, I get increase of 5 and then third to the fourth. So, there is an increase of 5. Fourth to the fifth, there is an increase of 5. So, the pattern will be, okay, by 5, no? Ang yahang pag increase. Okay, so from there, we can now make the rule. Okay, so what would be our rule? So, since there is an increase of 5, so we will put 5 multiplied by n or 5n okay next 
we're going to check if the rule is correct. Okay, how? So, imura na siyang i-substitute ang kada term. So, we have 5 times the first term. Then, next, 5 times the second term. Okay. Then, we have 5 times the third, 5 times the fourth, and 5 times the fifth term. And, let's see if pariho ba siya o tubag sa ato ang numbers or terms in the sequence. So, let's start with the first term, 5 times 1. So, it's 5. Okay, here it's also 5. So, it's correct, no? Then, the second term, so 5 times 2 equals 10. So, it's correct. Then, third, we have 5 times 5. So, it's 15. So, it's correct again. And then, 5 times 4 is 20. Okay, it's again correct. Then, the last one, 5 times 5 is 25. So, again, this is correct. So, it means that our rule is correct. So, we will use 5n now to solve for the missing term. Okay, now let's solve for the 11th and the 24th term. So, same regha po na process nga atong gibuhat diri. We will just substitute. Now, we will use the rule 5n and then substitute the value of n which is 11. So, 5 times 11 is 55. So, our 11th term is 55. Now, let's have the okay, 24th term. Okay. So, again, same gihapon. We're going to substitute the value of n, which is 24. So, 5 times 24 pilaman. So, this is 120. So, our 24th term is 120. Okay, then, problem solved. So, that's how you find for the missing number or term. So, again, do not forget the steps. So, plot the terms and the values using a table. Look for a pattern. Then make a rule based on the pattern. Check if the rule is correct. And if it is correct, solve for the missing term. Okay, I will provide more examples in the next videos that I will make. Thank you and I hope you learned something for today. Bye!